Welcome to the third lecture, Knowledge Engineering with Semantic Web Technologies. In this lecture, we are dealing with ontologies and logic. So we are now at the level where we also will deal later on with the web ontology language, with RDFS and SCOS and all the other things, and the logic, which makes logical conclusions and uh, draws on logical assumptions, which are based on knowledge representations below. So we are now in the so-called ontology layer of the semantic web technology stack. So what will we do? First of all, we will start with ontology as a basic concept of philosophy and computer science, but this is also a rather brief introduction, which gives you a notion or an idea of the concept which is behind the term ontology. We will learn more about ontologies if we consider several types of ontologies, so you can distinguish them, for example, according to the domain they are dealing with. So, for example, there are rather general ontologies, the so-called top-level ontologies, which try to explain the entire world, and there, there are rather pinpoint specific ontologies, which are only focused on a specific domain or application. Then, we are talking about the foundations of logic, because we are considering a so-called formal on, uh, knowledge representation. This is important because we want to automize, we want to mechanize the reasoning on this knowledge re representation. Therefore, we have to know and to understand how logic is working. So therefore, the foundations of logic. And then, of course, we start with short recapitulations of the most prominent and important logics we are dealing with. So first with propositional logic and then with first order logic. But these are only short recapitulations. You should have already heard about logics or you can deepen your knowledge then with additional sources or with alternative lectures. Then we want to talk about the mechanization of reasoning. So we will learn about how can be algorithms developed which can use knowledge representations together with these concepts we learned in logic to draw conclusions and to come up with new, to produce new knowledge from already existing knowledge. And one of them is the so-called Tableau algorithm. And then we will talk about description logics as the perfect mean to represent knowledge for the semantic web. We will see why propositional logic and first order logic are not so well suited for our purposes. There is something in between, which is called description logic, which is much better suited. And this, of course, you will learn here in that part of the lecture. And then we will talk about what we have to consider for inference and reasoning when dealing with description logics, because description logics, there uh, is an assumption being made which is called the open world assumption. So open world assumption means everything is possible which is not explicitly denied. And how we can deal with that, how, we, how the logic works when it's based on this open world assumption, you will see in this part of the lecture. And then of course, we also need mechanized reasoning, so an automated algorithm for description logics, and then we will talk about the Tableau algorithm for the most simple uh, description logics ALC in the end. So this is the official part of lecture three, where we also will have exercises and there will be also scoring for that and an exam. Besides that, if you want to get a deeper knowledge like for the other lectures, here we also have some extra parts for you, but they are not mandatory. They are a little bit longer, of course, they exceed the necessities of the course, but if you are interested in, you can also learn about first order logic canonical forms and first order logic reasoning algorithms, which is here the resolution algorithm. And of course, if you are interested in the concept of ontology, we will go back a little bit in history and talk about the history of ontology in one of the extra parts of the lecture. So now sit back, enjoy, and welcome to the lecture.